Is there someone here who trades in goods? Try Voktima. He's as thin as a starving hound and about as cheerful, but he can get anything you want. I saw him by the local granary. Sigismund's visit this morning was pretty alarming, isn't it? And no mistake. That army of his is enormous. It's a good thing Sir Divish is such a fine speaker, or they'd have squashed us like bucks. Jesus Christ be praised. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. All right, I'll see what I can do. Is there someone here who trades in goods? Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. She's good-hearted, especially if you come with some coin. <laughs> For anything else, you should see a fellow called Votava. Folk aren't too fond of him, because he's as surly as a wet cat. But he can get you just about anything. I saw him by the granary. You'll recognize him easy. He looks like he's never had a decent meal in his life. That business with Sigismund turned out well in the end, didn't it? Aye, that was a good start. Now we need to drive him and his war whores out of Bohemia for good. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? My parents are lying in the mud of scallops at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's terrible. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armour, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognise you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. And where can I get the armour? At the armoury? Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armour nearby. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money, and unfortunately I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. 
Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. Thank you, my lady. I must go now. Then with these strange clothes and iron masks on their faces. What are you so pleased about all this? Have you heard? I'm
one there. You've no business here. Clear off, boy. Damn! What? Who's there? Hey you! What are you doing? Jesus! Are you serious? What is it? What the hell? Be a bit more careful! Hey! Good health to you. What do you think about how the Scalitz folk managed to get away? Fortune smiled on them, that's for certain. Sigismund must be seething with rage. It's just a shame Fortune didn't smile on all of them. Oh shit. Sorry. And you know Sir Radzi Kobler? I wouldn't say I know him. I've seen him a few times. Why do you ask? He must be a fine lord to take such good care of every one of his serfs. Surely all the lords do that. Ah, I could tell you some stories. About Sir Divish? Jesus, no. I didn't mean it like that. Just that I heard stories from other soldiers that would make your skin crawl. I see. What is it? Be a bit more careful. You've no business here. Clear off. What is it? Get going. Well then. Can you hear me? There's someone there. You! Stop right where you are! Surrender! You're under arrest for breaking the law. All right, enough! I warned you, you've no business here. Now you're for it. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Just my luck. Look, I can't tell you anymore. The fate of the whole empire hangs in the balance between King Wenceslas and King Sigismund. High politics, you know? Not a peep to anyone. <laughs> my heart bleeds for you. All right, here you are. All right. Just make sure it doesn't happen again.
What are you doing here? Get lost, or you'll have me arrested. My respects to you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. Are you serious? The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? My parents are lying in the mud of scallops at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's terrible. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armour, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognise you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. And where can I get the armour? At the armoury? Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money, and unfortunately, I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. 
Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits to ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. Thank you, my lady. I must go now. Jesus! Look where you're going! What? What the hell are you doing? Hey, watch it. Did you see them horrible foreign soldiers? Them with the strange clothes on the mark. See how long it's taken him to put up that fence. And that coward who's trampled our cabbages three times. My respects to you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin.
Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? I'll go for that. Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go, for Christ's sake. I have to bury my parents. You're going nowhere, except back inside. If I don't bury them now, they'll be ripped to pieces by jackdaws and scattered over unhallowed ground, and I'm stuck here, a stone's throw away. All right, shove me. I'll pretend you caught me off guard and I fell over. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. Kurva! Ah! Crap! Damn it! Come here, lads! He's going along the street!
site they've already caught. Jesus.
answer to my prayer just when I wanted to vent my rage. <laughs> 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 What did these poor souls ever do to them?
What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? Jesus Christ! Sword in his hand. You stood by his side and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away, you didn't abandon like me. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. The one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you.
Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? It's Vishak. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that mutt the butchers? Isn't that body the butchers? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. How did you manage to get away? How do you think? I ran. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that... And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here and I can't take him to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. I see a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation. That's right! Turn tail and run, you bastard! Easy there, boy. You know me. And your good master won't be needing this anymore.
you can unlock. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Rant. I cut the bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Allez, don't play dead. Chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? Now, 
for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common kid. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the games are over. No!
Do you need some help? It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalit? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalit after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <coughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What in the world were you doing in Scalit? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? Sir Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Oh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill, my uncle's miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. 
But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanisch of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Hey, youngster! Come here! 